हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल बाइनरी हाथ माय नेम इज बलवंत एंड यू आर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो एज अ पार्ट ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग एलएलएम सीरीज इन माय लास्ट वीडियो अंडरस्टैंडिंग एलएलएम्स द राइज ऑफ मॉडल्स वी एक्सप्लोर्ड व्हाट लार्ज लैंग्वेज मॉडल्स आर देयर रिमार्केबल कैपेबिलिटीज इन परफॉर्मिंग वेरियस लैंग्वेज टास्क एंड हाउ दे जनरेट ह्यूमन लाइक टेक्स्ट एंड इवन स्पीच also i briefly talked about uh, neural network and neurons in this video we will dive deeper into the fundamental concepts of large language models imagine this you have an apple you chop it into thousands of fine tiny pieces then toss all of these apples in the space and then freeze the space that is your inference model with static knowledge now instead of just uh, tossing them you encode all these relationships as vast high dimensional map each piece of apple is not a physical object here it is a vector a point of data distributed across thousands of dimension for example 12288 plus for gpt4 model this map is the llm's knowledge it is a static knowledge model because the map itself does not change after training is complete now if you want to generate a new apple you apply an interface model you give it a starting piece for example a prompt create a new apple based on that the model navigates its knowledge map and predict the most probable next piece that should follow it keeps generating apple piece by piece building a new apple from scratch the amazing part is that most of the time this token probabilities lead it to create a coherent new apple let's understand the components of neural network which is the algorithm behind all this creation it is based on transformer architecture a neural network is a computational model inspired by the human brain which is the underlying algorithm behind llms designed to recognize patterns and make predictions it consists of interconnected layers of nodes called as neurons where each connection has weight that adjusts during the training it has three major types of layers input layer which receives the raw data output layer which produces the final prediction for example classification scores between the input and output layers there are hidden layers hidden layers which extract features through multiple transformations hidden layers contain one or more layers where most of the complex computation and pattern extraction happen the depth of the neural network refers to the number of hidden layers note in a transformer architecture each hidden layer often referred to as a transformer block typically consists of two main sub layers stacked alternately repeatedly multi head self attention layer and feed forward network multi layer perceptron mlp a type of feed forward network these blocks are stacked one after another allowing the model to process information at increasing level of abstraction the block is repeated n times for example 12 in brt base and 120 in gpt4 model note i pulled these numbers from publicly available information i don't know the exact numbers now this allows the model to first understand contextual relationships via attention and then transform that information via mlp neuron is the basic unit that receives input applies a weighted sum plus bias 
and passes it through activation function a neuron produces a single output activation function introduces non linearity which is crucial for learning complex patterns without them a network would only be able to learn linear relationships let me quickly cover two important concepts before i talk about the input and the data processing flow first is token input text is broken down into smaller units called tokens these can be words parts of words or even single character the exact tokenization depends on the tokenizer used for example word piece bp sentence pieces these are tokenization algorithms consider the sentence the quick brown fox jumps this might be tokenized as the quick brown fox jump full stop i have highlighted each token here including full stop second one is embedding words and tokens are converted into numerical representation called as embeddings these embeddings capture the semantic meaning of words allowing the model to understand relationships like fox is closer to brown or quick is closer to jump for this particular sentence it most importantly capture the semantic meaning of the words for example the embedding for fox would be mathematically closer to wolf than to car and quick would be closer to fast note embedding space in reality often will have hundreds or thousands of dimensions each neuron receives one or more input values numbers x1 x2 x3 xn up to xn we just discussed tokenization and embedding of the quick brown fox jumps these numerical values are initially coming from there i mean from the embedding token embedding i mean the given prompt each input is multiplied by a weight the and that means each input has an associated weight note weights are not assigned by anyone they are randomly they are random numbers which subsequently get tuned or adjusted b is a bias term a constant added to the sum bias ensures even if all inputs are zero activation still exist what we get is z the weighted sum then the activation function is applied sigma is the activation function such as sigmoid relu tan h jelu etc so the neurons final output is a which is the output of the activation function this output is given as input to the next neuron or to all neurons present in the next layer note there are two stages of models one is training model and the other is inference what we use is an inference model the inference model will not be doing any kind of learning activity its knowledge is static this is what is deployed in production to integrate with any application for example ai agents the inference model will have its knowledge present as weights and parameters in multi dimensional vector space it is not a database and hence you cannot point out which information is present where and how within the model it is not a database record which you can simply search and say this is the information record transformers are advanced neural networks designed for sequential data nlp vision etc they introduce attention mechanisms for better long range dependency handling they are core of modern llms modern llms response generation the workflow for generating a response is like this understanding the query semantic analysis and intent recognition information retrieval recall from training pre trained knowledge base 
information synthesis and generation generation of response remember the analogy of chopped apple llm can recall the scattered information about virat kohli in its multi dimensional vector space and respond to prompt who is virat kohli as virat kohli is an indian cricketer let's consider the example prompt who is virat kohli inference model will start with token embeddings like who is virat kohli question mark are embedded into high dimensional vectors that means you got your query converted into numbers high dimensional vectors of numbers then self attention begins in the first layer the model applies self attention each token looks at every other token and itself it learns what to focus on based on learn weights we are dot product of key query and values these are vectors that is the model uses a mathematical process to understand the importance of each word relative to the others the tokens virat and kohli strongly attend to each other forming a coherent entity virat kohli layer wise composition progresses as we go up the layers attention heads build more abstract representations in middle to later layers the model learns to associate virat kohli with related facts like indian cricketer captain 1988 birth year records odi test ipl etc all facts about virat kohli these associations associations emerge because attention directs the model to reweigh importance across the training tokens and those patterns which shaped the weights during pre training it uses multi head attention why because it helps the transformer to use multiple attention heads in each layer each head can specialize one might learn co reference he and kohli related another might learn facts kohli india cricket another might learn position and syntax this allows for rich parallel reasoning enabling the model to produce detailed factual grounded answers final step is token by token generation when the model generates a response virat kohli is an indian cricketer at each step the attention mechanism dynamically looks back at given prompt internally it uses the knowledge encoded in its parameters it predicts the most likely next token word based on past tokens context plus internal knowledge associations and the final response is virat kohli is an indian cricketer let's understand the jargon to better grasp llms let's touch upon some important concepts we already discussed two concepts token and embedding third one is context window this refers to amount of preceding text tokens that the model considers when generating the next token larger context window allows the model to maintain coherence over long sequences gpt3 has a context window of 2048 tokens if you if your input is longer older tokens are truncated or dropped fourth important concept is pre training the initial training phase on massive data sets for example books websites where model learns the fundamental patterns of language in a self supervised way for example predicting the next word 
फिफ्थ वन इज फाइन ट्यूनिंग ए सब्सिक्वेंट ट्रेनिंग फेज वेयर द प्री ट्रेन मॉडल इज ट्रेन ऑन ए स्मॉलर टास्क स्पेसिफिक टास्क स्पेसिफिक डेटा सेट्स टू इंप्रूव इट्स परफॉर्मन्स ऑन ए पर्टिक्युलर टास्क फॉर एग्जाम्पल क्वेश्चन आंसरिंग सेंटिमेंट एनालिसिस और इट माइट गेट ट्रेनिंग ऑन स्पेशल डेटा सेट्स लाइक लीगल डोमेन फाइनेंशियल डोमेन हेल्थ केयर डोमेन डेटा सेट्स एक्सेट्रा फॉर एग्जाम्पल ए हेल्थ केयर चैट बोर्ड फाइन ट्यून ऑन मेडिकल ट्रांसक्रिप्ट टू एंसर हेल्थ क्वेश्चन मोर एक्यूरेटली सिक्स वन एंड नव इट इज वेरी पॉप्युलर इज प्रॉम्प्ट इंजीनियरिंग द आर्ट ऑफ क्राफ्टिंग इफेक्टिव प्रॉम्प्ट to guide the llm to generate the desired output the quality of the prompt significantly impact the model's response for example instead of uh, telling uh, llm tell me about diabetes use a prompt as a medical expert explain diabetes to a 10 year old this is to get more accurate tailored and readable output not only is it useful for writing effective internal system prompts but you can use your prompt writing skill to develop an application without knowing any programming language well in near future writing applications will become a job of arts instead of engineering not only that models will develop such an effective programming language which humans will not understand we just have to tell models to write an application with our creative ideas and model will create an application for us you don't need to understand any programming language next concept term is parameters parameters are the internal variables or weights within an llm that the model learns during its training phase these parameters captures the knowledge and patterns from the vast amount of training data the more parameters an llm has the more complex patterns it can potentially learn leading to better performance but also requiring more computational resources for example gpt3 has 175 billion parameters gpt4 is having 1 trillion plus parameters again i pull these in numbers from publicly available information i don't know the exact numbers parameters are used to transform inputs into meaningful outputs the common pattern of parameter is model with dozens of or hundreds of billions of total parameters but only a fraction active per token for inference speed and cost saving and hence you have total parameters and active parameters for models models achieve efficiency by keeping active parameters less than total parameters large language models are rapidly evolving becoming more powerful efficient and versatile from revolutionizing how we interact with technology to assisting in creative endeavors and scientific discoveries their impact is already being felt across numerous industries around the globe understanding the fundamentals of llm is becoming increasingly important for navigating our ai driven future in my next video we will explore different models act architectures and their usage broadly we have encoder only decoder only encoder decoder and mixture of expert architectures thanks for watching this video please press the like button and subscribe to my channel